Right, what up wagon wheels, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is episode 3, so welcome once again, but we are going to speak, well, play a song for Darunia, so what is it? Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Brain. Work, please. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Jesus. That's how I like to dance. I do that in public. And then the people that I'm with look at me like a fucking... Like I'm a weirdo. It's great. Everybody looks at me like I'm a weirdo, actually. But that's kind of good, really, because it means I'm being noticed. He is really enjoying himself there. What a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Somebody just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. Uh, the big boss of the Gorons. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? Okay. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go and destroy the monsters inside Donga's cabin and prove you're a real man? Alright. Okay, if you say so. Sweet, I'll be able to pick up a bomb fly now. Right, I did everything the way I was supposed to. Fuck yeah. Uh, horrible torment. So, uh, in the last episode, um, if you're watching these back to back, then you already know what happened in the last episode. But for the people that have watched this yesterday, oh, okay. Uh, you might want to. Oh no, that worked. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this Barmazon so that I can properly do this jump. Oh yeah, I finally did it. Right. I'm pretty sure we also went to the castle in that episode as well, so that's nice. But I am still recording this on the same day. Um, because I'm just, I'm really enjoying playing and I've really missed recording. I haven't been able to record for a while because of my broken collarbone, so, you know, it just feels nice to be able to do it. So I thought might as well get a bunch of these out of the way, so, well, not out of the way, but, like, just do a bunch of them so I'm, I'm ready. You know, get myself back in the zone. There we go. That's a big chest. I can't remember what this is, I think again this is a dungeon map. Yeah, right. You don't really need to go in a chest to find the dungeon map. That's one thing I don't really like. I can understand the compass, like something showing you secrets. Like, I understand finding that, because you're finding a secret to help you find more secrets. That makes sense to me. But the map itself, just to get a layout for the dungeon, surely you'd be given that by... Um, the Gorons themselves. So it just seems a bit silly to me. Wow, okay. I only just made that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something special, but it's not. Hey there. Uh oh. Right, so where does this lead? Okay, somewhere I don't need to go yet. At least I think I don't. Can I climb this? Oh no, I do need to go there. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've been watching randomizers, so I've been watching people 
uh, be like adult link coming in here which is really strange because you're not supposed to but uh, yeah I've been watching people coming here as adult link so they're able to climb up that ledge so I okay cool Oh, I probably should have made them blow up next to this. Come on, come over here. Boom. Innovation right there. What? Okay. Trick shot. There we go. There we go. Fully healed. Nice. Hey -ya. For such a small sword, it's, you know, it's, it does pretty well. That is a very strange freeze frame right there. Let's do this. Ah, thanks for the little help up there. I think you can still... Oh no, I need to push it a little bit further before I can start pushing it that way. You know, it's better than a block, but, you know, it'd be nice if I wasn't moving so slowly. So I hope you guys are doing well since the last episode, whether it was uh, 24 hours ago or, you know, a few seconds ago, because I know what some people are like, because I'm like it myself, I like to just watch videos after videos. Um, come on, fight me. Uh -oh. Uh oh, that's even worse. No, let me up, please. Fine, bring your friend over here. I'm not scared. Come on. Hey, come back here. Alright, come on. Come on, lock on to it. There we go. He's dead. You ain't coming back from that. Both dead. Damn right, bitches. Okay. This door it is. Yeah, it's really nice to play a Zelda game that I'm actually kind of unfamiliar with because a lot of Zelda games I've actually played like crazy. And I mean, like, I've played them all quite a few times. Like, Twilight Princess, I've played that about five times all the way through. Uh, probably about the same for Wind Waker. Skyward Sword I played about three times all the way through. Um, there we go. Uh, Majora's Mask I played two times. You know, it's just... Uh, I'll sell you Deku Sticks. No. I don't want Deku Sticks. A single Deku stick for 15 rupees, that's a bit bit of a steep price if you ask me. I remember the giant versions of these in the Majora's Mask. These ones blow up too, don't they? Yep. Oh nice, you blow up the pot for me. Oh, thank you, sir. I mean, I don't need those, but, you know, it's, it's all good. Let's do this. Just 
just making sure that there wasn't one on the other side. Sweet. That's definitely going to burn in my hand, isn't it? No, I managed to put it away. Cool. I hate how long it takes you to put stuff away. But here we go. We're back on that ledge that I tried climbing up. to go back up. Just looks like he's glitching out, but it's just me turning him back and forth. That's funny. Wait, now what? So I did that, and it brought me back here. Oh yeah, that, that's fucked. That's what unlocked this door that I'm going towards. No wonder I ended up going this way. I'm fucking. Sometimes my brain doesn't work, but then again, I have been up almost all night. I woke up at like 3 a.m. for some reason. Um, but you know, I'm good now. Well, I'm not, but. Fuck yeah. So it turns out there's a, a Minecraft randomizer, which is a, a fucking crazy idea, because there are so many different items in Minecraft it would actually be kind of difficult to play. Um, but um, yeah, a YouTuber called Seth Bling, which is like a redstone YouTuber, um, uh, who I actually used to watch a long time ago, all all the time, for like redstone tutorials. Um, but, or like redstone ideas. But, uh, wait, is the one at the top of school children? How are you supposed to get that? Can you climb this? Well, that makes sense. <laughs> That's strange. Uh oh. Wow. I managed to avoid getting hit there because of that. That's awesome. So you get bombs in this dungeon, don't you? Which is actually going to be awesome as well. Because bombs open up a lot of stuff. So there's only one. Oh, do you have to use a bomb? Yes, I think so. Uh oh. Give me a heart, please. Uh oh. Not great. Come on, grab the bomb, grab the bomb. There's another one. What the fuck? I'm dead. Yeah, this game is definitely difficult, but it's it's more because of the like how hard it is to control. Like the sensitivity on things and how unsensitive some things are. Um Definitely makes it difficult. Definitely makes it difficult. God damn it. At least the keys actually gave me a heart this time, man. There we go. Heart, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, well, I'm just going to move this one. Because I don't think you'd need to kill them. Which is a bit pointless, but maybe they give you a chest. Actually, yeah, they probably do give you a chest. I'm going to kill them just in case. 
And if not, then I'll see you on the other side of that door. Come on. Weird sensitivity, let's do it. Where's it gone? Alright, fine. What about this one? There we go, got that one. Come on. Come on. Ooh. What about now? Oh, shot. I know I wasted a lot of them, but I still hit it and it was pretty good timing, so I say that's a win. Perfect. Now that, that is skill right there. Oh, a long hallway. I like long hallways, they look cool. That did no damage. That's strange. Smaller platforms this time, okay. I'll, I'll accept it. Come on then, fight me. Come back. Come back. Come here. Jump across. There we go. Oh, okay. You want something. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, dead. I'm way better fighting you now, aren't I? Yeah, come, come fight me. Yeah, that's right. Fuck off out of here. I'm Link is the king around ten. Is that seriously just for recovery hearts? Oh, that's sick. I didn't know it did that. You can see the other room from here. Okay, I like that. That's cool. I didn't know this game did that. Yeah, it's really nice to play a Zelda game I'm not familiar with because playing so many Zelda games and like playing them again and again, and then playing them for a let's play, you just sort of know what to expect. So it can be a little bit boring at times. Here's the one bag. I didn't expect it to be in this room, to be honest, but... Okay. You get to blow stuff up. What a lucky guy. <laughs> I like how Nintendo just knows that you're lucky to be able to do that. They're just like, yeah, we know you like it. Um, so I guess they give you this to test it out, gives you a heart piece, I'm guessing. Excuse me. These random lag spikes are annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, definitely a heart piece. I'm good. See? Big brain. Except wrong side of the room. So, not so big brain. Uh oh. What does that do? Ah, oh, okay, that makes it so. Okay. Alright, so now I need to go drop these bombs into the eyes of this thing. Which I don't think they tell you unless that's. Ow. I don't think they tell you unless that's what the. Okay. Unless that's what that little sign's for. Okay, careful. Alright, let's do this. Drop it, and... Go! Sweet. I smacked that eye on the broken head. He deserved it. Okay, so now what? Uh, I guess this way. Oh, 
I like how this like this dungeon's progressively getting more and more like rocky. So do we push this block down into that hole that yeah, I think we do. I can hear what sounds like a road sweeper outside. It's really loud. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably when I speak you can. It's getting louder and louder. How did you still hit me? You were dead. God damn it, man. I honestly thought that went a lot further down, but apparently not. Alright, we're doing well. Actually, I think... Yeah, this is the boss. We got more bombs. Here we go, boss fight time. Second boss fight of the game. This one's actually somewhat difficult compared to the first one. Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. Do you have to go behind it? No? Or do you just simply use the bombs? Good over there, King Dodongo. Okay, so you do have to hit him. I would imagine if you just use the bombs, though, it still works. I like how they put the bomb flowers there, just in case you don't have any bombs left. One thing, how it toggles, is a little bit on the annoying side. I keep accidentally stepping on this lava in the middle and it's really doing too much damage to me. It's done more damage than the Dodongo itself has, so... Ouch. See? The Dodongo has done a quarter of a heart to me so far, I think. Yeah, so if you follow him, he'll roll. If you face him head on, then he'll do this. And he's dead. Well, definitely a more difficult boss than the first one, but also still pretty easy. So, But cool, I like it. And there we go. Where is that heart container? We need that. <laughs> Heal me up, heart container. Boom. That's right, bitch. Stay in the fucking ground. Right, let's check. How long have I been recording for? Uh, a decent amount of time, but we'll play a little longer.
It's me, Darunia, well done. He says as he fucking slaps you around the face. Alright, sweet. What a wild adventure. It'll be it'll make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock block in the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. Uh, you, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. So how about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. He showed him his penis. <laughs> oh yeah, to give you an idea how long I've been playing for, because obviously these have been recorded back to back. Um, when I started, it was around four in the morning. Um, it's currently half past eight in the morning. So I... That gives you an idea. <laughs> Brother, you keep rushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? Alright, you should go see the great fairy uh, on the top of Death Mountain. She'll power you up. Hey everybody, let's see off our brother. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> That's great. Right, we might as well go see the great, the great fairy. Ow. Might as well go down here, because I hear the cow, and I know it's down here. Yep. Alright. Can I speak to it? How do I feel like it's... No, I can't. Okay. I didn't think I could. Ah, again, I'm going to have to play the Ocarina to get what I want. This game, is, it's almost like it has the word Ocarina in its title. Yeah, struggle, struggle to remember them because it's been a long, long time since I played this game, so. But I'm sure I'll remember them the more I have to play them. I can't remember what she does though to power you up. I think maybe she gives you magic or something. A bit strange. <laughs> Welcome Link, I'm the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it is something to do with magic. Okay, so she healed me and I don't get magic, but I get spin attack. Oh, is this like the special spin attack that does like extra damage? Because I obviously could already already do the spin attack. Oh, so she does give you magic. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed and. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, and if you if you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more. I don't really do good outro things, but you know it's all good. Uh, but yeah, see you guys later.